Hey guys, and this is a little channel update. In this update, I'll be discussing uh, my recording technique. And uh, first of all, I want to start out with saying that I'll be not using my camera now for everything. Right now, I'm using it for everything. In the future, I will not be using it for everything anymore. I'm changing my policy back. And the reason I'm doing this is because, number one, the camera with certain games, it creates utterly shitty results. And these games seem to be older games, such as my, not older games or games with less, lesser graphical uh, achievements and lesser graphical engines and less, this, with lesser graphics, yeah? And like, you know, Half-Life or, you know, simply older games. Don't go too well with the camera because of the, it, they don't have advanced brightness settings where I can manipulate the brightness of the game and, and make it look better on the camera, but like I'll say things like Minecraft where I simply, it, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get it to work with the camera very well, so I'm going to be recording Minecraft and most older games with, like, with fraps from now on again. Also, all dual commentaries, as you uh, might know, uh, will always be recorded with fraps because I cannot do dual commentaries over the internet using using Skype because that makes the audio quality of the people uh, the people that are talking on Skype or, or something uh, any uh, voice over IP software that makes it sound like crap because they are, the quality of their, their voice is already diminished by the speakers and also by the inter going over the internet in the first place so yeah I just, I just wanted to talk about that also, a main reason for me using the camera right now, which I didn't realize before, is that there are not that many re performance requirements for this camera, and actually none for the computer, and it doesn't slow down the computer one bit if I use the camera. So, basically, uh, I can record The Witcher on whatever settings I want, or any game on whatever settings I want, and Fraps will add an extra layer of performance hiccups and performance, you know, it will add an extra layer of um, CPU usage and GPU usage, usage for my system. It will make it, the games a lot easier to handle for my system that I can play them on a lot higher graphics. So, yeah, that's basically the whole, that's basically the whole idea. Older games, games with weird brightness settings, I will be using Fraps once more. And for newer games with high performance uh, requirements, I'll be now using, I'll be still using the camera because that's what I was using before. Since it, uh, it allows me to basically bypass that performance that Fraps sucks up. Basically, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, basically, I'm trying to, I'm trying to use the, I'm mean, trying to use the best out of both worlds, out of the Fraps camp and out of the, out of the, uh, out of the camera camp. I hope you guys are happy with my decision. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys another time.